I say, I'm running on a little sleep. I mean, I'm running on a little sleep. I have been up since 4.30 this morning. It's currently 6 o'clock and quite frankly, I was like, oh, I'll film this video in the morning. And then I realised that my brain is too mushy to do any work. So I figured I may as well film it now. So today's video is basically the 10, no, not 10. The eight, the seven, the mistakes, the top mistakes that I made at GCSE and A-level. And you've already seen that I've done a revision techniques that don't work video. So this is kind of an extension of that, but it's more like personal mistakes rather than mistakes that I made when it actually came to revision. Because I must have done stuff right when it came to revision because I ended up getting grades that I was really happy with. But that being said... I do think I did myself some damage along the way, so if I can avoid that with you guys, then that would be great. So, number one was worrying about what people would think of subjects that I chose. So, I did German, Spanish, History and RS at GCSE, and I did English, Politics, German and Spanish at A-level. So, at A-level, I didn't really care what people thought, and in fact, all of my teachers were like, why aren't you doing chemistry, and why aren't you doing um, further maths, why aren't you doing maths? And I got quite a lot of opposition from some of my teachers, actually, um, especially to picking English and politics. So I didn't really care at A-level, but at GCSE, I really, really cared, <laughs> like, what, I don't know, what people thought of, like, what career I was going to go into and stuff. And for that reason, I took RS rather than taking Russian. And I really regret that decision. Like, I wish I'd taken German, Spanish and Russian because I'm good at languages and I would have much preferred Russian to RS and I would have been able to speak Russian but I didn't take it because I didn't want people to think that I was copying out by doing three languages and now I'm like that would have been such a good decision why am I like this so my number one like regret is just not taking what I wanted to take rather than what everyone was telling me to take and I really think that that applies both at GCSE and at A level like Fair enough if you need like certain A-levels to go into a career path, but other than that, like pick what you enjoy because you have to do them for like a long time, so commit. <laughs> the next one, and this is definitely my biggest regret, is letting stress affect my relationships and like my personality. So when I'm stressed, um, like when I, I when I do exams, I can I can be really selfish and I can get very much in my own head. And when I have like a goal that I want to achieve sometimes I can kind of just get very so focused on that that I kind of lose sight that everybody else has got stuff that they need to be doing as well so I would often be very irritable I would be very like I'd just shut myself off I wouldn't go out as much and like not as much at A2 but at AS and at GCSE like I just sacrificed a lot of like social events like too many social events obviously you need to sacrifice some social events but I just thought that anything like social was like I didn't want to do and a lot of like people in my life who needed me like I very much was so focused on getting the grades that I wanted that everybody else's concerns kind of became like second best to me and I regret that so much because I know that I wasn't hor I wasn't horrible to like my family and stuff but you know like if mum was like could you take the dog for a walk I'd be like I'm busy I've got stuff to do and I regret doing that so much because that way you're like neglecting other people in your life and like just because you're stressed doesn't mean that you shouldn't be there for other people and just making the effort to check up on your friends your family like don't fall into a i've got to do one well of my exams and hence nobody else matters no matter how busy you are 10 seconds to send a message to someone and be like are you doing all right it's not difficult you know it's not difficult message to pasty don't be a dick to your family <laughs> next one is the constant feeling of guilt that i had probably for like what like three years um so especially at as i think was the worst like at as level genuinely on a spiritual level like i literally would be doing anything like i'd be sleeping and i'd have this little voice in my head like why are you not revising like why aren't you working like i bet like everybody else is working right now and it's just so dangerous it's literally a voice that you have to shut off like you have to shut it off so like this evening for example I have this little guilty voice in my head like you're not revising but I've got much better at being like yeah I'm not revising but I'm editing this video I'm filming this video I'm tired because I was up at 4am so I'm resting so I'll be productive tomorrow and you just have to counterbalance that voice and really convince yourself that like just because you're not revising doesn't mean you're not doing something productive and beneficial like going out and seeing your friends um, as a revision break don't spend that whole time just thinking about your revision because then it defeats the object and you're going to get yourself into like such a tears it's just not worth it so so if you hear that feeling of guilt you need to like acknowledge that it's there and you just need to like talk yourself out of it um 
and it's very hard to learn to do that and I really wish that I had sort of tried to do that earlier because now looking back so many days were wasted of me just feeling guilty when I should have just been enjoying the moment because I couldn't be revising at that time anyway you know like you need to sleep you need to like go on holiday you need to like live your life so yes <laughs> so the next one is my whole floor are like totally listening to me film right now but the next one is basically one that I still do and I try not to do but I was especially at like AS I think was the biggest sort of time waster for me and that would be like just wasting hours on a revision that wasn't really proper revision just to get the hours in for the day so like say for example if I'd done six hours and I wanted to get to eight and I'd be like oh well and they just did like two hours of like random crap that I probably wouldn't even use but that was just working for a little bit longer like it's just such a waste of time or like doing another hour when I clearly was not in the mindset to be doing another hour so it was just an hour of wasted time anyway so basically just don't worry too much about the hours like if you're too tired or you're not in the mindset to revise an hour relaxing is going to be more productive long term than an hour of you lying to yourself and saying that you're revising what? oh for god's sake <laughs> I'm filming a video <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> this is Lindsay. Hello. And this is Olivia. I can. I can. I can. What's it for? I'm filming a you just my weekly YouTube oh, video. Okay. You know? Sorry. <laughs> no. I'll go. I'm gonna go film a video too. This is hilarious. <laughs> Thank you for that beautiful interlude. Oh, you shut my door. Oh. Shocking behaviour. <laughs> so after that lovely interlude I'm just going to continue with my video um, after being rudely interrupted um, so yeah basically just don't worry about getting the hours in like just do what you can and be proud of yourself for doing what you can and don't waste time when you could just be chilling when you know that you're not being effective because it's just wasting your time and deceiving yourself and you don't want to be doing that the next one and this is my biggest one this is my biggest regret and this is one that I still do um, and I'm really am trying to get better at is just not taking care of myself during exams like it would get to the point where I was so like I just wanted to be revising and I just wanted to be productive and I got to the point where I saw like not painting my nails as being you know oh like I'm saving time but then it went to like not ever like plucking my eyebrows and like not shaving or like not like taking that time to like not obviously like I brushed my teeth and showered and stuff but just really like dressing like really sloppily and then you sort of fall into this like pit of where you're just not looking after yourself so you feel rubbish and every exam season like I would emerge from exam season having gained loads of weight having like really bushy horrible eyebrows like my hair being gross like just not feeling myself and it would take me like weeks to get back to like feeling nice and I find now that now I'm at uni making the effort every day to obviously not today like I'm not really looking the best today but making an effort every day to like do my skincare routine and like look after my eyebrows and like keep all everything maintained basically like makes you feel better and more productive so basically what I mean is just don't let your not personal hygiene but like just don't let your general standards of appearance slip I'm not trying to say that like you're ugly if you're wearing joggers and stuff I just mean like you will feel better in yourself if you make an active effort to like take care of yourself do you know what I mean no okay I feel like I'm not making sense but you know what I mean and the next one is a really quick one but it's just not having days off like intentionally so the only days off I would ever have would be like stress induced days off so like I'm taking a day off because I'd got myself to the point where like I was so stressed that I needed a day off which was you know productive because then it meant that I was good the next day but it would be very rare that I would like schedule in a day off and I think that sometimes having those scheduled in and really taking control of your relaxation time can be so important so make sure you schedule days off like and schedule fun things um, rather than like being forced to take a day off because then that's not a good mentality to have um next one oh my gosh this is a big regret is comparing myself to other people GCSE especially, I remember like looking at people's Snapchat stories and stuff and looking at studying me and so I was like, I'm not doing enough. You have to, you have to, like I cannot stress this enough, have your own plan and your own goals for yourself and stick to them. Because honestly, let me tell you now, genuinely it means nothing. So I used to watch people study with me that would be like hours and hours longer than I could ever do in a day and just cry like a baby because I just couldn't keep up with that level of studying and I ended up getting the same grades as the people that were really trying to psych me out and like at school and I ended up getting the same grades as people that acted like they were studying for like 12 hours a day when I did like maybe seven or eight which is still a lot but like 
I was made to believe that it wasn't because I was so fixated on proving to everyone that I was studying and proving to like everyone that I was studying more than other people like just focus on yourself in exam season please for the love of god the next one is allowing negative thought patterns to develop I have really struggled with my mental health um this year I think as a result of the way that I treated myself throughout exam seasons past in that it might have helped at the time but I think I've really fallen into very negative thought patterns that are quite hard to shake um and that were that built up quite insidiously over the years and by this I mean just really not being kind to yourself and beating yourself up and holding yourself to unrealistic standards so just try if you find yourself attacking yourself like oh I didn't do enough revision today or oh like I'm never gonna pass my exams or oh like you're just not good enough like you need to have like a dialogue with yourself where you combat those thoughts and you acknowledge that they're thoughts and that they're not reality and that they're merely like a sort of passing event in your life and they don't define you and that you can counteract those thoughts and act on those thoughts because now I find myself very like quickly I overthink way more than I used to um I just I'm quick to assume the worst about everything and everyone and it's like those sort of things come from not looking after yourself especially during exam seasons and from having like really really negative academic mindsets that then transfer into like your actual life so yeah basically what I mean is just really try and be kind to yourself like with that dialogue that you have inside your head like it's so important and the final one is one that I've been harping on about the last few videos isn't it really exercising I did not exercise like I did dance um, up until a AS A2 I did nothing I did nothing I maybe walked the dog like once a week but I gained so much weight during A levels that has now just become like nearly impossible to shift and I felt rubbish because I wasn't moving like I literally would sit all day and do nothing this year I've been going to the gym like in the last few weeks like three times a week and I a have more energy to revise anyway b feel better in myself c I'm eating better four can concentrate better like it really does help um and if anything like just exercising is a good form of procrastination and it's a productive form of procrastination so exercise more kids especially if you're doing a levels because if you don't exercise you will go insane trust me <laughs> that is everything for this video i really really hope you enjoyed it um this is one that i've wanted to film for a while because i think it can be quite easy to fall into the academic side when you really need to be looking after yourself as well so take it from me that you really don't want to be doing any of these things um i don't do any of them anymore really um but you know it's good to remind myself too that i need to be kinder to myself and we all need to be kinder to ourselves so yeah if you did enjoy it give it a big thumbs up comment down below any video requests you might have and yeah i'll see you next week with another new video Bye guys. Mwah.